oh hello I finally got my um, my cord to plug my camera into my monitor it finally came so I'm super excited about that um, I have already moisturized I've done my brows and I'm gonna go for like a pretty simple-ish eye look today I think I'm not gonna do anything crazy I'm gonna do a nice cut crease blend type thing so I am gonna be using a couple new products that I got in my my boxy charm for this month so I'm a little nervous to try this this is the iconic London illuminator um, I'm a little nervous to try this guy shake well before use um, so I'm gonna look this up to see exactly how to use it because I don't want to use it wrong at all um, and then I'm also going to use my professional pore primer that I got in the box and then I might for the heck of it try the Illuminati gel paint um, these are supposed to be like metallic um, not metallic electric eyeliner gels so we'll see we'll see if if we end up being able to incorporate those so first off I am going to use this new primer I've never used it before I've heard really mixed reviews on it some people love it and some people just hate it so it is brand new there's still the little silver you can't see that there's a little silver cover I have to peel off Ooh, that's wet. That's wet. Is that supposed to be wet? Do I need to shake that? That like... It smells good, but that just came out really oily. Really oily. So I'm just gonna... Ooh, I do not like putting this... Must be this oily. Is this is gonna make me break out because it kind of—it's oily enough to where it feels like it could make me break out. Peanut butter. It, it feels as though I've just rubbed peanut butter all over my face. It's like, it's like gritty. Okay, we're just gonna move on because, um, just don't judge it, I guess, before, before you lay makeup on top of it. Okay, so this Iconic London Illuminator. Okay, so it can be added to your foundation, primer, or moisturizer, or simply used on its own for a super highlighted glow. Okay, so it says prep your skin with your face primer or foundation stick. Add drops of your illuminator to cheekbones, tips of nose, collarbones, and cupid's bow. Use your fingers to tap the product in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my eyes because I usually do my eyes first and then I do my skin. So I'm going to save this to do after I do my eyeballs. Okay, so today we are going in with the Ace Beauty Palette um, in Scarlet Disc. I need to shut my eyeballs. For my eyeballs, I'm just using concealer. It's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And we're just going to use that today. I really want to try the, uh, the P. Louise base primer for your eyes that Nikki Tutorials uses. But, mm. I guess I'll start with this side. 
and I really just want to stamp the color on there first. And I'm going in with shade Nocturnal, which is this guy up here. I'm just going to go in at the very edge of the eye, take that just a little bit above the crease. And then I'm going to grab, I just had it, my Lavish Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go into shade Lotus, which is this guy right here. And then I'm just going to go along the edge of this to try to blend that out just a little more seamlessly. <sighs> My shit just stopped recording automatically and if it's going to do that every like five minutes, ooh, I swear. So I went in with shade Bahamas. And I'm just going to tap that and then bring it into the crease. Just to lighten that corner up a little bit. I'm going to go in with Sangria. And I am wiping my brush off in between each color. And then I'm going to tap Sangria really just want to tap that for now. Get it up into the crease area. And then this is Sangria. Sorry, I didn't show you. So I just went in with these three colors uh, that are in this row, and then I blended out with this guy right here. And then I want to go in the clean brush and just blend that crease out. And I'm not perfect. I know I'm not a makeup artist. I just do my own makeup. So if you've got words for how I do it, you want to give me constructive criticism. That's fine, just don't be an ass about it. Because, you know, I'm still learning too. Obviously, there are going to be assholes. This is the internet. And then, I am going to cut my crease now. So, to cut my crease, I'm going to go with my concealer. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm just going to get some on my brush. And then I'm just going to go in right along there. And I only want to go a little bit further than halfway around my eye. Or across my eye, I'm sorry. Don't need much at all. Don't need much at all. Don't need much at all. I guess we're going to go in with Aurora. And I'm just going to take that with my finger and just dab it on there to get as much pigment out of it as possible. And then I also want to go in with Maui right on top of Aurora just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go off camera and match up my other eye to this one. So now that I have matched up both sides of my eyes, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this Illuminator. Like I said, I've never tried it. It says shake well before use. And it also says to blend in with your fingers. I'm going to make sure my fingers are clean. So it says after you prime. So I've already primed, so I'm going to assume that I put my foundation over this. 
And if that doesn't work, then we shall see. So I'm going to add it to my cheekbones. Ooh. All right. So, whoa. All right. So yeah, that is definitely definitely dark it's possible I just use too much so we can just kind of use the same for my fingertips and they have to be like rubbed in all the way and we're gonna see The Cupid's bow. Oh, I have so much on this side, it's not even funny. I'm just gonna add it everywhere that I would highlight. Hmm. I definitely see a glow. Obviously, oh my god in person this looks insane okay so <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with foundation i look crazy nervous <laughs> I might have to go in like I'm thinking I might need a second coat of my foundation to really full coverage it up mm. I look muddy like I'm thinking that I definitely used too much. I think BoxyCharm sent me the wrong shade. Because if this were lighter, it's definitely like showing luminosity through my foundation, as you can see. But. I mean, it really doesn't look that bad on camera. <laughs> ah. My skin feels weird. I'm wondering if this primer has something to do with it. Not the color. The color is all of this. I think this is definitely like way too dark for my skin. I mean, I look like I did a bad self tan job. Okay, we're just gonna keep going how I usually would and it's it's gonna look how it looks baby okay on my eyes I'm gonna go in with my concealer concealer Maybe, maybe this will sound a bit. I'm definitely not gonna go back in with it. 
after to highlight. Um, I'm, I'm, honestly, I might not even need highlighter after this if I'm, if I'm being honest here. My camera keeps turning off. Not turning off, but it keeps quitting recording and it's, it's pissing me off. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. I know I have foundation lips right now. I have this scar. Like, the... My lips are really hard to do because I got my lip bit off by a dog like four or five years, four, four and a half years ago. And it just healed really, really bad. So my, my lips never look good. They're kind of like uneven. It's like not proportionate. I also just have a very asymmetrical face. Like it's fatter over here and then it thins out. Oh, personal problems. I look cakey AF. Very, very cakey. And usually, usually I do not. So it either has something to do with this primer or it's the illuminator. Um, and I have a feeling that it's a little bit of both. We're keeping going. Come on, quit bitching, Tabitha. So I'm going to go back in with the Bahamas color right here. And I'm just going to bring that down on my lower lash line, underneath my lower lash line. Oh, the brush is too thick. I'm like, fuck. and then what color do I want to bring to my inner corner let's see how Maui looks on the inner corner I feel like I've tried this before and Maui just she is just not killing it This whole face just turned to shit after the illuminator. It's bad. I just look so cakey. Shite. I don't... I don't need bronzer. It looks like I need bronzer on camera, but I... You shitting me if I need bronzer. Um, maybe... We're going to go in with the Airspun Loose Powder. Oh, I already look cakey. Fuck. This is really bad. This has just turned so bad. We need something stronger. Uh, we need more darling we need more and this is something that I do not usually do because 
I'm a dry bitch, okay? But I need to brighten the fuck up. Ay ay ay. Okay, really quick while this bakes while this bakes on, um, I'm going to throw on some eyeliner. Which Oh wait! Okay, so I'm forgot about this. So I have an Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati gel paint electric pink pen that I'm going to pull on my lower lash line because we had some pink going on. Totally, totally forgot about these. I was reading the boxy charm reviews on these. So we got an electric blue color and the pink. And a lot of people were like really upset because they just weren't their colors. After, especially after I get like some regular mascara on and some eyeliner and some lashes I think this could definitely come together I'm not gonna do like a dramatic wing or anything today because like I said I'm putting on lashes anyways Going in with the NYX Professional um, Epic Ink Liner. So we're going to do just basic. Basic eyeliner stripe today. Okay, so I'm going to throw on some lashes and some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, so I threw on some lashes, some mascara, some eyeliner, and I don't know, the more I'm sitting here looking at it, I mean, I feel like it's kind of settled onto my skin and really mixed in with my foundation. I'm still not totally 100% happy with the color, but I mean, it doesn't look awful. And plus I baked and it just, I don't know. I'm not totally mad at it. I mean, in this light, I look pale as shit. But, I mean, honestly, I'm not that mad. I probably won't use it all the time. And I still feel like I could use some highlighter, if I'm being honest. But I definitely need to put some blush on my cheeks. So we'll do that right now. Going in with my e.l.f. blush. And just for the sake of the camera, oh, why did I do that? Tabitha. I just put some bronzer on my blush brush. No, girl. No, 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 no. I 
It's like the deeper I get in this pan, the more it starts to shimmer. Is that weird? Like this used to be very matte, and I mean even the center is still matte, but now, now my colors are starting to like look shimmery. I don't know. God, my lips look awful. But up here, I did not bronze at all. I did not put any of that illuminating stuff up here. I don't know, I feel like the only thing that like stayed showing through on my foundation was the pigment for that illuminate stuff. Like, I'm not shiny. I'm just dark. Dark and cakey is what that shit did to me. So that probably will not be part, will not be something I use very often. Definitely not something I'm going to use all the time. Well, um, and then also, I guess I'm gonna give my opinion on this gel that I used. Honestly, like, I feel like the color's not sticking that well in my waterline. Um, I also read a lot of reviews saying, that, like, it smudged really easy, but I'm not confident in my abilities yet to, like, put it on my actual eye. So I just wanted to work it into that lower lash line, my waterline. And I mean, I think it looks cute. It definitely brings out the color of the eyeshadow. But, I don't know. I guess, where am I today? Pregnancy brain freaking sucks, man. No, we're gonna, I just swatched all of these for no reason. These are the Kissing Beauty Glazed Matte Liquid Lipsticks. But I have dry lips that look funny, so for me, these, like, never work. So this is the Milani um, Color Statement Lipstick, shade 86, I think. So this is, like, a pretty, pretty pink color. So I guess we'll try this. And like I said, I always hate the way my lips look. because they're not symmetrical. And whenever I have color on my lips, like you can really, really see how asymmetrical they really are. God, and they are just so cracked on the bottom. I got like butthole lips. Got them butthole lips. So, okay. The Milani lipstick isn't the worst. Oh, no. This is shade 86 Tropical Nude. You can't see anything. Fuck! I feel like these lips do not go with this look. But um, this is the finished look for today. I'm really, I don't know how I feel about it. I have no idea how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? I don't know where else this is going. I'm done. The Illuminator, not a fan. I, I'm too wishy-washy on it. So that just puts me as not a fan. Everything I use today will be linked down in the description. You see those bubble lips. Today was an adventure. 
Thanks for going on it. Ooh, I can't wait to get my clips for my hair. Ooh, ooh. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I really don't know how I feel about my face right now. So uh, let me know how you feel about it.